Dirt car modifieds here for their qualifying heats. Two heat races for them, and the top three from each of the two heat races will redraw for their feature starting positions. Starting in the pole of heat race number one from St. Catharines, driving the Niagara Formworks. Number triple seven, that is Tyler McPherson. Starting second from Port Robertson, the Gaston's Auto Sales 72 of Tommy Flanagan. Starting third from Ransomville, New York, the Glen River Contracting 19T is Eric Rudolph. Starting fourth from St. Catharines, the SNW Service Center, number six of Mighty Matt Williamson. Starting fifth from St. Catharines, the number 74 is Dave Flanagan, Jr. Starting sixth from Thorold, the Cary Industries 108 is Bill Bleach, Sr. And starting seventh from St. Catharines, the track record holder here from, from St. Catharines, the Walters Excavator 71 of Mike Bowman. Tommy? An update on the 50-50. We're already at $1,100. $1,100. We're not even through the heat races yet. Get in on tonight's 50-50 draw. That means it's definitely going to be over 2000 maybe even 3000 tonight, because when it's that much this early in the night, you know it's going to keep climbing. Well, guys, top three will redraw for the starting top six tonight out of the 358 modified races and here we go green is out for the first time tyler mcpherson to the inside of tommy flanagan yeah mcpherson jumps out in the early lead flanagan back to second meanwhile side by side between williamson and rudolph tommy flanagan started his sportsman career here back in the day ty mcpherson drove a fair bit of street stop races here back in the day and they're both on it here in room one and two Here's in your leader, Flanagan in second, Williamson third, then it's Rudolph fourth and Bleach right now running in that fifth spot as they come across the stretch to complete lap number two. Matt Williamson bobbles hard there, getting into turn three and four, and now Eric Rudolph to the inside of the sixth car, trying to grab the redrop position. Working through three. Corner four with Tyler McPherson in the triple seven ride across the strike to complete lap number three. Five to go Look at that inside, can't find advantage. Meanwhile, a good battle shaping up between Williamson and Rudolph. You know, it's always awesome, Greg, when these veterans just throw it in on each other going into the turns, and you can put a baseball card between the two of them. And now Williamson all the way back into third by himself. And the battle of one is Tyler McPherson trying to hold out Tommy Flanagan. Pearson leads him down the back stretch with Flanagan and Toe, and then you've got Williamson still hanging there in the third spot. The guy got to make some moves now is Mike Bowman, who's gotten by a couple cars at the back now. Mike Bowman circles this race on his calendar every year, won the big sportsman races here a few years back, trying to come at the back end of Eric Rudolph, and look at Bowman up on the top side. Yeah, Bowman getting it done with the The momentum will shift back to the 19 C. Let's see if Bowman stick through the middle now. Now he'll let it slide up to the cushion again and try and grab some of that outside bike as they chase down Matt Williamson with the white flag in the air. for Tyler McPherson in the triple seven. Flanagan holding down second. Third Williamson comfortably. Now it's Bowman and Rudolph going at it off the corner four. Checkers up and the win will go to Tyler McPherson. Tommy Flanagan second, Matt Williamson will jump into the redraw, Bowman, Rudolph, Flanagan, and Bleach will round out qualifying race one for the 358 Modifieds. Got a Toyota Camry, silver in color, NWF-003. We need you to go to your car, you've got a passenger window that has been left down, a Toyota Camry, silver, NWF-003. 58 Modifieds starting on the pole from St. Catharines, the Easy Motorsports. Number 06 is Brandon Easy. Starting second for Smithville, the Pleasant View SO, number 08 of Mark Delario. Starting third from Welland, the Gaston's Auto Sales 22 Junior is Travis Miller. Starting fourth from Coronella, Victoria, Australia, in the Into Parts Australia 19J, that is Brett Clark. Then the most recent modified feature winner here from Sanborn, New York, the findingquick.com, number three is Chad Brackman. Starting sixth from Richville, the Blue Moon Potatoes, 28 of Todd Gordon. And starting seventh from Thorold, the W of Racives, 38 of Scott Wood. Again, top three, redraw, eight laps of distance for a modified heat race number two. Field will line up down the back straightaway. Brandon Easy has not had a full season in 2015. 
racing sparingly. Chose to pull it out tonight. Get set to go. Eight laps of distance. Top three redraw. Seven cars. We are on it. Green is out. And the wild card is grand and easy. We'll leave the inside of turn one. Canario in the 08 had a very good run going back in the big block race last month and it all went for not at the end of it but keep an eye on that 08 of Delario but Brackman of course in the three has got two wins in his last three starts here in a shoot and he goes up in the second spot. Right around the outside of the Delario 08 as we find a quick three of CB3 Chad Brackman jumps up into the redraw and will try and improve his redraw position here tonight as he kind of takes a page out of Bowman's book to the high side Tommy. Yeah, Brockman got it done on the high side a lot in that big block race last week, and I think he learned something from that. He's up there again, but now he goes to the bottom side and tries to run down easy. Delario, the 08, has that third and final redraw spot right now. Well, let's remember, last two times they're here, they had that bad hole in two. There doesn't seem to be it here tonight, so Chad can go to the inside the clean line, and he'll try and do that. He'll have a great easy through turn two, and he really pulls up to the back end. Lap times in the mid-16 second bracket for Brockman as he tries to get around the 06 of easy, but he can't get it done so far. Easy with a sportsman win back about seven years ago here. They bring it back to the inside. Brackman trying to dig here off Brand Easy. Easy steps out of lane, and that may be the advantage Brackman needs. Brackman to the inside now, side by side through corners one and two. And Easy will hold the spot for the moment with five laps in and three to go now. And that time the three car bobbles a bit, and Easy will drive away from him. Mark Delario still holding on to the third position. Behind them, it's Clark and Miller as they come back. Yellow out now for Gordon, the wrong way in turn number one. Quick, easy spin for the moon to take a picture. You like you guys were waiting for midnight to strike, so you take a picture with the cake. We got up this morning, my wife forgot, but Facebook oh, reminded her. <laughs> that's bonus points for a long time. Green flag is back out, here we go. Bringing it easy, leading Mark Delario and Brett Clark and Brockman. Must be penalized, penalized for jumping or something. He's back in for it. Brockman trying to get back into a redraw spot here, trying to get around the 19 of Clark, and he'll do that heading out of corner 14 to go up front for Easy. Brandon Easy back out front. Delero in second. Brockman learning lots here as he's got to pass cars to hold on to things. Back in the redraw where he needs to be. The white flag is out now for Brandon Easy. Delario's not going away though, the zero eight and Brockman is there as well. But Easy has a nice smooth line through corners one and two and pulls away down the back stretch. Now Brockman right up to the outside, gonna try and put the outside run here on Delario and gets a good run, but Delario will close it off with the strike. Easy, Delario, Brockman in the redraw. Clark, Miller, Wood, and Gordon will file in at the back. Well, Tommy, we've got quite a group of pilots here tonight. Some of them cut their teeth racing in these same types of cars here. And a lot of them, in fact, I would venture out to say all of them, love this race at Osh Week and circle it on their calendar, getting set to roll. Chad Brockman and Ty McPherson off a of turn four at the chalk line, and here we go. here and Pearson trying to take the early lead down the back stretch but here comes Brackman to the bottom. Brackman on the inside Tyler McPherson trying to crest the nose of the three look at Bowman the only guy up in the attic. Trying to make up for some lost time and he will come around and try to get Tommy Flanagan on the top side. Yeah, passing Flanagan this is where he makes all his gain can he get some momentum he will and work around that way as he looks at the 71 on the outside. McPherson now to the inside of McPherson. Will take over the lead out of corner two. That puts Brockman back to second. Delario third, easy fourth. Fifth up for grabs between Williamson and Bowman. McPherson with the advantage of the top three. Bowman now you watch Bowman still work on the outside. That's the dangerous move up on the top side cushion. So McPherson now solidly into the lead, but as I say that, Brockman gets a good run to the bottom side in turn three and four, but McPherson will hold the lead. Here comes Valerio with a 0-8 up the challenge. Valerio working the bottom lane underneath the last zero. Three cars as they come onto the back straightaway. Valerio in that 0-8. Good battle between Bowman and Easy on the outside. 
side as they go for four. Bowman will simply drive away around the top. This track has changed a lot since he tried to celebrate here. This is a full second slower. Well, a lot of times now as the case of this, up a bit of a lead. Brockman's got his hands full of Valerio. That Bowman now making up ground quickly in the top three. Sticking to that game plan around the top where the cushion still sits, but it is the long way around. Now Galeria on the way block winner Brockman is looking to turn on the Lord with six on the Lord. Bowman still making time off on the top side there in the 71. He's leaning quickly on Delario into three and four. Brockman switches back up to the top side. We'll see if he can make that work and try to chase down the crease again. Bowman right on the back bumper, Delario. And what a run these guys are having here as they come off with turn McPherson as he's got a big lead now over Brockman and Delaria. McPherson was two points quicker the last time. This time Brockman just a thousandth of a second quicker. But McPherson will change the boat. Tim Carlin did here over Brockman. Then it's Delario Bowman and Easy in the top five. Back here off the four. Tyler McPherson stretching out his lead each lap. Too many games except now Williamson on the back over of Brandon Easy 0-6 and Easy drove away out of two. Williamson got the win in last year's Northern Summer Nationals and hasn't been able to make up too much ground so far. He's switched up to the top side here to try to make up some more ground on Easy. Meanwhile, up front, Brockman slightly quicker the last time by and he tries to run down McPherson. Working it here off the four turn, McPherson to the bottom, Brackman on the top, Delario on the bottom, and Bowman in the middle of this top. Delario is not going away here as the top three gets closer together. McPherson started to fade. Brackman was two cuts quicker that time by Delario even faster. Delario on the rail down low, and Brackman trying to find some bite up high. Doesn't seem to be really making too much ground in on McPherson. Now he goes to the bottom. Tommy searching anyway around. To Scott Wood around in turn number three. Well, will come out for Scott Wood, who comes to a stop up in corner three. 12 laps under the green flag there. We'll have 18 to go when we restart. Scott Wood will get the 38 refired, but we'll have to start at the tail of this one. Here, Brockman had been using the top side in three and four, so this might play into his advantage on the restart. Getting set to roll here off of four. Tyler McPherson brings the field back down right up across the nose of Brown. On the outside, trying to get some gains around the top two. Well, McPherson got a very good restart there. Meanwhile, behind them, Bowman now gets to the outside of Delario, and Bowman is coming in the 71. Brett Clark and Dave Flanagan Jr. get together in turn number two, and that will bring out the yellow here in turn number two. I believe that's Brett Clark who went for a spin down there in turn two. So he'll restart at the back of the pack if he can get that car refired. So it's McPherson again choosing the inside line. Brockman to the outside. He'll restart second in the number three. Then it's Delario, Bowman. And easy in the top five with Williamson there as well in the number six. Getting set to roll again. The green flag is out. 18 to go. And Mark Delaria. Rockman went to the middle groove there. Bowman went to the outside. Now he drives it down the middle. Almost makes contact with Delario. Up front, McPherson tried to block Brockman, but Brockman very strong on the top side, and they'll be side by side at the front side. Brockman will be back with the front Brockman will be back with the turn one and two as he leads them off the back straightaway. Delario hot and heavy on the bottom now as McPherson's got to chase for the first time. So McPherson back to second, but he's got a handful of both Bowman and Delario right there on his first ball. back bumper of McPherson, but Brackman is quickly driving away here. Look at Bowman to the outside, right around McPherson and Delario. Big power to the three. You see what Bowman's got now for Brackman as he's starting well outside the top eight, and Bowman quickly making up ground now on Brackman. Bowman's got where he needs to be, and look at he's 
going to chop it down right here. On the front shoot, they go. Bowman in the Steyer's line trying to make it work. 14 laps to go, and Bowman is half a second faster. Yellow flag out now for Easy as he drops out of the top five. Not sure what's wrong with the Brandon Easy 06 car as he comes to stop on the crest of turn number three. Tough break for Brandon Easy. Front flat as, as well. Right rear, right rear flat, flat, but sorry. the axle looks like it's got some damage as well, so we'll see what they can do down there, but this might be the end of the race for Brandon Easy, who mentioned earlier in the night, he got a sportsman shootout win back, way back in 2008 or 9 here at Oshweekin, and uh, a good racer here over the years. One, then it's McPherson, Delario in the 08, Williamson up in the top five, now in the number six. This ought to be a good restart here. Brackman likes the bottom, Bowman likes the top. We'll see. Brackman goes to the bottom. Bowman gets a good run out of corner two and they go side by side down the back stretch to the lead. Bowman now shows the nose on the outside of Brackman and should be able to make the pass here. Off of four as the Walters excavating machine falls a little into Williamson and he gets twisted around in turn four and that's going to bring out the yellow again. So after Delario had a very good run early in the race, now he's going to restart at the tail of the field in the 0-8. Everybody did a good job to avoid the Mark Delario machine down there. I'm not sure how it happened, but I definitely know he was into it with Matt Williamson. They collided out of turn number four. Here he's made up five spots and looking for more in that 19 C. Getting set to roll again. Bowman, the leader, gets the jump, but Brockman will drag race him down the front straightaway. Brockman gets a better run through corner two that time, but Bowman still gets a better run out of the corner, and he will take the lead again as those two start to take off for the rest of the pack. Off of four by Bowman with the lead. Brockman now facing the making his way into the top three. As well as they get onto the back straight with four wide there, fifth through ninth. Brackman now falls back a few car lengths. He goes up to the top side of Trey to chase Bowman back down, but Bowman quicker and that round to get to the 11 miles to Eric Rudolph making gains here as he runs Ty McPherson up the track after digging it on the bottom. Bleach Sr. to the inside now as they work it back to three. Now Bleach sort of 13th and he could be fourth here in short order as he goes three wide with Rudolph and McPherson now. Rudolph going to the high side and one. Remember what happened with the Triple Crown Showdown? Did the big flip there on the back stretch in a turn one, sorry. And now Bowman leading with the best battle. Bleach, Wood, McPherson, and Rudolph right there with Tommy Flanagan. Bleach to the inside, and Wood is up in there as well as he restarted Bowman the back of the pack. off the turn! What happened to the leader? Mike Bowman loses the handle in turn three and drives it off the track. So Mike Bowman, the latest driver to have things go wrong here as he gets it sideways and up off the end of turn three. That'll hand the lead back to Brackman again. You were in the right spot, what happened? I'm pretty sure the right front tire locked up coming into three. That's it, you're done? I think so. All right, they're gonna check it out over here. Looked like something went wrong on the 71. And Bowman sits up here against the berm. We'll let you know what's up in just a minute. Pearson. Next to him, Eric Rudolph, then Bill Bleach from the back of the pack up into the fifth spot. Tough break for Mike Bowman. He had him covered. Now we'll see if Williamson or Brockman can get it done. Rudolph and McPherson in this one. We've got nine to go. Williamson on the inside here as they come back, and it'll be a good drag race for the bike, Tommy. Yeah, to the inside. Williamson is where he wants to be right now. Brockman to the top side, and Williamson now. We'll pull the slider up in turn four. Brockman can't get a crossover done that time. He went down the front stretch. A brilliant move by Matt Williamson. You saw what Bowman was doing. 
point, knowing Grockman's gonna come up and try and whip him around the outside. Williamson with the big move. Look at Brackman trying to put the slider. Yeah! Meanwhile, Rudolph might be quicker than both of them, but he can't get around either of them yet. Williamson takes off that front now as Brackman could not hold that slide job. What a great drive out here as these modified guys rolling it up and throwing it at each other. Now Williamson to the outside. Rudolph even higher and Brackman a lane lower. Rudolph gets a good run out of the corner for him. Brackman with a better run as he stays up. for the third spot. Williamson with a four car length lead, but Brockman chewing at it here as they come off of four. We've got 25 on the board now with five to go for Matt Williamson. Williamson continues to open up his lead. He was two tenths quicker that time by as Brockman cannot repeat so far what he did in the Super Dirt Car Series race last month. Williamson back here with four to go. Came into our shrinking as a 14 year old in the sportsman division. Worked his way up to be a modified champion at Merrittville and Lernerville Speedway. Would love to race here weekly, but we don't have him here weekly. He'll have to settle for the once a year. So as Williamson and Bracken race first and second, Bruce and Rudolph have been going at it side by side, lap after lap for that third spot. Brockman starting to make some gains now on Williamson with two to go this time by. Rudolph clears Bleach and will chase down the Brockman number three. Rudolph sticking to the high lane here up to the top side in turn one. The gap was six tenths of a second. Up front last time by. We'll keep an eye on it this time. Rudolph making some gains now and everybody right together at the front as they come to the white flag. One lap to go here for Matt Williamson. Got to make sure he keeps it clean and green. Off the two they car. Williamson with the lead. Rudolph to the outside of Brockman. Rudolph up to second now. Doesn't he have enough time to catch Williamson? I think he's going to run out of time here as Brockman tries to throw the slider. Williamson will come out of corner four and he will get the win. Second is Rudolph. Third is Brockman. Fourth is Bruce. Fifth at the line will be McPherson. What an awesome race the 358 put on here. Ladies and gentlemen, get your souvenir programs out. We're going to draw the winning prize numbers. If you have any of these program numbers, please go down to the main entryway to claim your prize. Again, we're going to do the program prize number draw. Get your programs ready. If you have any of these numbers, go down to the main entryway to claim your prize. First up, one hat courtesy of Caledonia Auto Supply to program number 257. 257, the number on the front cover. One large pizza to cur courtesy of Wiggy's Pizza Wings and more to 291. 291. One free pita courtesy of the Pita Pit in Caledonia to 246. 246. Five cheeseburger coupons courtesy of McDonald's in Caledonia to 227. 227. And one Cineplex movie pass courtesy of Coca Cola to 301. Again, if you have any of those program numbers, please go down to the main entry to claim your prize. Let's go down to Mobile One, Victory Lane. Matt Williamson, two years in a row here in Victory Lane after the Northern Summer Nationals. Here he comes out of the car. Put your hands together for mighty Matt Williamson. Come on over here, Matt. We'll get a word with you. Boy, halfway through that race, you were just barely in the top five, and I don't know what you were thinking, but... I was starting to wonder if you're going to be able to make it up through there, but a little bad luck from your competitors and uh, some great driving at the end there. There was a fun race at the end, and uh, you got to be thrilled with this victory. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. I mean, uh, I knew Chad was going to give it back to me and just uh, had to cross him up. I mean, it's great to race with Chad. You know you can race him clean. Uh, he'll do the same for you. So, I mean, I had to slide him over there or it wasn't going to be my race. So, uh, just an awesome facility. I'm happy to be back. Thanks for all the fans. Uh, let's party. <laughs> Two years in a row here, you get the Bergamar Northern Summer Nationals win, and a bunch of people helped you get here. Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, we had Daryl Johnson chicken in the parking lot. That, that uh, set us up for the win here. Uh, Wayne, S&W Service Center, Jason Enterprises, uh, R&B Champion Oil, uh, Bicknow no Racing Products, ERD Motors, uh, Optional Hose and Hydraulics, Keegan Forklift, uh, all my crew, uh, everybody. I mean, could, couldn't do it without them. Robitaille Racing, everybody, everybody. 
There is Matt Williamson. He's your feature winner here. We'll send it over to Clinton Jeffrey with second place, Eric Rudolph from ninth place on the grid. Well, Eric, this is quite a recovery from where you ended up at the big block race on your lid in turn one. Uh, any nerves blasting in there on the top tonight? I don't know. It's a totally different track. Um, you know, the car ended up breaking on us uh, a couple weeks ago when we were here with the big block. But, um, you know, we're finishing second place to uh, Matt Williamson here. He had a really good run. And, uh, you know, thanks again for Rob Clark for letting me drive his car. And, you know, no shame in finishing second place to a phenomenal driver like Matt Williamson. Great run tonight, Eric, by yourself. Congrats. All right, thank you. Eric Rudolph will finish second. Tommy, standing by with Chad Brockman. Chad, we'll run in here and get a word with you. Well, third place here, you started on the pole, and uh, I think everybody else was dreading that when you started on the pole, but the last couple laps, it just looked like the line wasn't quite there for you. No, no, we were just holding on at the end, and uh, unfortunately, we didn't make the right setup calls, and... Uh, didn't read the track right, and here we are third place instead of uh, where we really wanted to be. Well, still up on the podium, and a bunch of people helped to get here, obviously. Who do we got to thank? Uh, I just got to thank findaquick.com and uh, all my guys back at the trailer there. That's Chad Brockman, third place here tonight. Put your hands together for our podium finishers in the dirt car, 358 Modifieds. So here's a good sign. I just asked the 50-50 sellers what the prize is at. They're still counting. So we'll see what it ends up at here. But uh, the winner of the mini stock race is going to draw the 50-50 winning number. So make sure you have those tickets out at the end of the next feature race. Well, I'll let you know, Tommy. I just checked on your pay tonight. They are not still counting that, okay? That was, that was easy. $10? Envelope. Done. <laughs> <laughs> HRW Automotive Mini Stocks lined up and ready to go for their 20-lap feature event. I'll go through those program numbers one more time. You can claim those down to the main entryway. Program number 257, 291, 246, 227, and 301. Again, those are the winning program prize numbers. If you have any of those, go down to the main entryway to claim your prize. Wow. <sighs> 